Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Get to know the breath and all the variations of the breath to see what's good for the body right now. Does the body need deep breathing or shallow breathing? Heavy, light, fast, slow? You can check it out. We're here to learn a skill. And learning a skill re requires that you keep doing it again and again and again until you get good. And as John Fung said, the breath here is the basis for our skill. It's our relationship to the breath that we're going to learn from. And it's a good thing when you leave the monastery. You can't take the monastery along with you, but you can take the breath, and you can take the skills you've learned in relating to the breath. So focus on getting to know the breath really well, and know how the mind relates to it, the perceptions it holds in mind, and how you might be able to change those perceptions to make the the breath easier to work with, more malleable. In fact, all the elements in the body, earth, wind, water, and fire. What is your perception of these things? How do you sense these qualities in your, in your body right now? And when you sense them, what can you do with them? There's lots of things you can do with them once you start noticing them. It's not like you have a fire in there, but there is warmth. The earth, of course, is the solidity. Water is the all the watery parts, and wind is the breath. You can play with these things. You learn from these things. And as you do that, you give the mind a good, solid place to stay, so that when you leave the monastery, you can still take some of that atmosphere of the monastery, the peace and the quiet, with you. You can't pick up the monastery to take with you, but you can take the skill. And you find that the skill is what you can really rely on. So you're going to have a sense of seclusion even when you're surrounded by people. So work on that while the conditions are good right now, and you have something good to take back with you.